Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Age 2. Last we left off, we were going to help Anders with a uh, mission to see if we could check in with Sir Ulrich and this possible tranquil solution. Going into the dungeon of the gallows. This tunnel will take us into the gallows. With any luck, we'll simply be mistaken for thieves and not conspirators. Are you ready to help me find evidence of the tranquil solution? Yes. Let's go. Once again, it's asking me if I really want to take these people with me. Yes, I want to take Izzy and Fen Fen with me. The Templars are despicable. They fear to fight us, so they destroy our minds instead. Um, well, that's, that's one opening line. Hmm. I'm going to take this little side trip first. Cause you know. Pile of bones? Yeah, that was worth it. Nothing else here. Okie dokie. Ah, but this is spindleweed. That'd be worth it indeed. Robes is... And nothing over here. Okay. See, he asks us to help him with the Templar problem, and what do we do? We go running around and all that fun stuff, looking for stuff to stick in our pockets. Corpse. A ring! I want a ring! You know, I was literally just about to comment, I'm surprised we haven't run into any enemies yet. Ah, uh, that guy's disappearing, so... I do like the screens that they have in this game. Enjoy the ice. Imagine it was a bit cold. Lyrium smugglers built these tunnels to service the Templars who crave the stuff. Ah. So that's what we ran into. Okay. Continue traveling through the cave. There's... oh. Oh, nice. Hey, Izzy, wanna give me a hand with this? You're such a slick... driver. You know, her saying that with Fenris around, it just kinda strikes me as a mite insensitive. <sighs> and he's not happy with me. <laughs> Fenris has agreed to disagree. <laughs> yeah, I imagine... Oh! You're in trouble now. I think they are. Spanking? You would spank spiders, Izzy! What is wrong with you? Pile of bones. And some deep mushroom. And we've got... Hey. Got some people to level up there. That's actually pretty nifty. Much better to have him continue building... 
Him being a spirit healer and all. Makes it a smidge more interesting. And continue building her ability to do stuff. Okay. Or... Ah, yes. That is what I want. That's what I want. And then to go around the other way. Because I'm pretty sure there's also something in here of interest. Ah, there's a corpse here. But I was wrong. There really wasn't actually anything of interest over this way. Okay, I just went in a circle. Sure. I can dig it. Okay, and up through here. Boneses! More boneses! And did I miss something over here? No, I'm just blind. So, yeah, this is a lovely place. It's a perfect place for a smuggling operation. We do work well together. Was that it? I thought this was one of the ones that came in waves. Hmm. Okay. I'm not gonna complain if they actually reduce the tedium a bit. Oh, okay, I thought that was actually a passageway. Silly me. Anything over here? No, there is not anything over here. But there is a little chest here. That's a good thing. Okay. And another corpse. Oh, goody! Hey, buddy! You do and you're dead. Okay. This works. Superior Mariner bow. Nothing we're going to need because the only one who actually uses a bow in our outfit is Sebastian. And he's already got his daddy's bow. I want to go win! Uh, shouldn't we be focusing on the Templar thing? No! I want to open the door! Because I want to have what's inside! Uh. Okay. So, this is where things get interesting. Circle Mage Ella and a bunch of Templars. Ah, uh, that does not bode well. No, please. I haven't done anything wrong. That's a lie. What do we do to mages who Ooh, creepy lie? eyes. I just wanted to see my mom. No one ever told her where they were taking me. No. No, this is their place. We cannot... So, you admit your attempted escape. You know what happens to mage girls who don't tow the line around here, don't you? Please, no! Don't make me tranquil! I'll do anything! That's right. Once you're tranquil, you'll do anything I ask. Oh, no! What's going on here? What are you doing to that girl? You fiends will never touch a mage again. Uh-oh. <laughs> Someone's gone justice mode. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> Damn it, stop kicking me, you stupid Templar hunters. You can enjoy 
throw some ice if you like. Now you are. They will die. I will have Justice. Every last Templar for these abuses. Anders, calm down. It's over, Anders. They're all dead. Every one of them will feel Justice's burn. Get away from me, demon. Fool. I am no demon. Are you one of them? That you would call me such? Don't hurt her! Anders, that girl is a mage. We rescued her from being made tranquil. She is theirs. I can feel their hold on her. She's the reason you're fighting, Anders. Don't turn on her now. Please, Messer. Uh-oh. Anders. Oh, thank goodness. Baker, no. I almost... If you weren't here, I... I need to get out of here. Oh, man. That's terrifying. And Fenris, stop approving! Alric's papers. To Her Excellency, Divine Justinia, I am well aware both you and the Knight Commander Meredith have rejected my proposal, but I beg you to cons reconsider. The mages and the free marches are past controlling. Their numbers have doubled in three years, and they have found a way to plant their abominations in our ranks. They cannot be contained. The tranquil solution is our answer. All mages at the age of majority must be made tranquil. They'll coexist peacefully, retain their usefulness. A perfect strategy. It's simply the best way to ensure mages obey the laws of men and maker. I remain as always your obedient servant, Sir Otto Alric. That's a Sir Otto that we do not like. But... The Divine and Meredith rejected his idea? They turned it down. More Enigma of Kirkwall. Spirit Essence for Anders, of course. Yes, uh, glad you didn't go with the slave driver line again. Not just because it's getting tedious, but again, you know, Fenris is right there. That's that's a special kind of insensitive. Not that I would put that beyond Izzy. You, you saved my life, Monsieur. What was that thing? He's my friend. He's no demon, just a deeply troubled man. Can I go home now? Go somewhere safe. Find your parents, but don't stay there. You must leave Kirkwall. I know. There's nowhere in the city where Sir Ulrich's men won't find me. Thank you, Messer. Andraste herself must have put you in that room. Hmm. And Fenris is back to hating me. Good. All is right with the world. But, uh, you know, Anders seemed a little spooked there. I don't think it's a good idea to leave him to his own devices. And if we know him, he's likely... Yeah, looks like he is. Oh, Anders. Trash. Trash. Keep. Trash. Trash. Won't be needing that anymore. Anders, calm down. You're upset. We need to talk about it. Upset doesn't begin to cover it. You were the only thing that kept me from murdering an innocent girl. It's all gone wrong. Justice and I... We're just a monster. Same as any abomination. It wasn't your fault. You were out of control. But even then you heard what I was saying. You knew in your heart that you had to stop. You have too much faith in me. Without you, I'd never have known who was there until it was too late. How can I fight for the freedom of mages when I am the example of the worst that freedom brings? Make yourself a good example. Mages are dangerous. 
That's why this has been so hard. Make yourself the proof that they can control their powers. I don't know how. How can I even trust myself to heal anymore? What if that creature of vengeance turns on a patient? Will he... will I resist? Or will I lose his fury? Ha! <laughs> Aw, oh, you can flirt with him here. I'll help you through this. We got rid of Sir Ulrich, right? Meredith will look down. That's like not a very flirty line. Comparison. Did you find anything on Sir Ulrich? Or was the tranquil solution just another of my delusions? No, we found exists, something. But it was Sir Ulrich's plan, no one else's. Let me see that. The Divine rejected the idea. Meredith rejected the idea. This was not what I expected. Perhaps I should try talking to the Grand Cleric. Yes! Maybe she's more reasonable than I thought. Thank you. I will think on what you said. Wouldn't it be nice if she was actually very reasonable? So... I could have a chat with Anders now, but... I'm actually gonna hold off on that. But Anders, get your butt in my potty. You know, without the R there, that just sounds wrong. Get your butt in my party. There we go. No unintentional allusions to, uh... Yeah. And because I'm here... Do you have coins to spare, Nessa? My children are starving. Of course. I hope this helps. Always. Thank you. Make a smile on you. I seem to recall you saying something a while ago. Fenris. Shut up. I can control it. Wasn't that what you said? So help me. Wow. Fenris, not the time. Alright, so I've been putting it off a little bit. But let's go see Ariane. She did write us, after all, out of concern for Fainriel. And this is an interesting approach into the area. This one time, I was sailing to Lemeron, and there was a fight between two of my men. It was over a dice game, or the last piece of toast or something. Sailors, they're touchy about their toast. Is this going anywhere? <laughs> it will if you let me finish. Then so, finish! There's a knife fight, and Jim ends up with a broken off blade stuck in his shoulder. It's very deep in there, and we're out at sea at least a week from the nearest port. If you were there, you could have reached in and plucked that blade right from his flesh. That's your whole point? Pretty much. <laughs> oh, all my love for Izzy. <laughs> she really is quite charming in a very... in a, a uniquely Izzy way. Oh, there's a crate. MUST TAKE EVERYTHING! And actually, what's my inventory look like? It's actually looking kind of full, so actually before I go messing around with... I could've probably just taken that path, God damn it! I ARE LOST! And I could probably go... visit with Gamlin at some point. Let's, uh, find... Hello, hello! Alright, time to get rid of stuffs. Yeah, I don't need that, don't need that. I really don't need dissension. Mostly because I'm a mage, but, um... Magister's Lifestone... Amulet... Amulet, Ring of the Seven Watchers, not that important to me. Ornate amulet, not bad. You, and nothing worth it there. Okay. Um, health, I'd rather go with the Lyrium Potion thing. Not that I don't already have enough. Rune of Spirit. Ooh, well, no, get rid of my junk. All that drunk stored up in my trunk. I know that's not the lyrics there. What you got? 
Anything special? No. Okay. Just thought I'd empty up my inventory first. Not that I expect to pick up a lot of stuff, but it's always good to periodically do that, and I probably would have just let that fill up before even thinking about it. So. Hmm. Actually, I should go visit with Gamlin first. I'm sorry, guys, I'm being a bit indecisive about this, but... Gamlin! Your favorite niece is here! Hi, Gamlin! So you're moving up in the world? Got some coin to share with your favorite uncle? Ah, uh, no. Okay. Never mind. But I actually do want to save what's going to come up for the next video, if at the so very do least... Do you think mages should be free? Everyone should be free. Not just mages. Not everyone's dangerous. It's not about who's dangerous. It's about having choices made for you. Don't you wish you had the choice not to have lyrium stuck under your skin? I do. <sighs> this is silly. I don't want to argue. Do you want to guess what color my underclothes are again? Oh, yes. That's much more fun. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> that was so cute! And, again, another reason why I really love Izzy. She has a sort of show of being, you know, shallow or just a very surface sort of person. But she actually has quite a bit going on with her. She thinks about a lot. Okay, Lady Elegant, I do not care. And Lyrene's Ferelden Imports. Oh, it's a good idea to... to browse my wares. The prophets help Ferelden refugees here and at home. Of course. Where's uh, where's the shop? Ah. Oh, this is where they go. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> It's cool enough to, like, totally make me go valley girl or something. Wow. Okay. That's good. Tira Ferelden. Nothing of that sort. Armor struts for Anders. Ooh. Not much of a surprise, though, that she has something for Anders here, all things considered. He. <laughs> ah. Apparel shop, yeah. For whom does the bell toll? <sighs> anyway, I do love those moments with Izzy I where she actually. What hawk sees in you. It is done. Leave it be. Well, good. I always knew she had some sense. Do not make light of this. Leaving was the hardest thing I've ever done. Oh, will you two get over yourselves? You're like two dogs around a bitch in heat. We were talking about Hawk, not you. <laughs> oh my gosh, I haven't had Izzy in my party before while having that conversation play. And look! The way that you interact with your characters affects their, their dialogue and all that fun. I'm sorry. I, I, I love Izzy. <laughs> and on that squealy note, I'm going to cut the video off here and return next time to go have a chat with Ariane. So, hope to see you then.